guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle. And today I'm going to show you guys another healthy meal. This is just a typical meal, something I like to eat a lot. And it's actually going to be chicken, which I have right here, obviously, and some low carb rice. And I know what you're thinking low carb rice, how does that work? But anyway, watch this video and stay tuned. So, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take some chicken, and this is actually um, chicken that I bought today, and a lot of times at grocery stores you can buy chicken that's expiring in the next couple days for really cheap. So I got this whole package of chicken. It's about a pound and a half for $2, and that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So we're just going to go ahead and put these uh, pieces of chicken in this pan here that I have on a low heat, and we're just going to let this cook while I make the low carb rice. we'll just go ahead and put a lid on it and let's start with the rice. Alright, so now we're going to start to make the rice and I know what you're thinking, why are we using um, cauliflower for the rice? And this is actually something that I first tried it in, I liked it so much I wanted to make a video really quick to get this out to you guys. And I know it sounds weird but this actually is a great rice alternative and tastes almost exactly like normal rice. And I know a lot of people are on low carb diets so here is your solution. So first off, what we're going to do is, um, I have a food processor here now, um, I'm going to use this, but you can also use a blender, it will work just the same. We're going to cut the cauliflower into pieces that are small enough to fit into the food processor, and then we're going to blend it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will get back to you guys in a minute. Alright, so I just finished cutting this up here, and one thing I wanted to talk about before I put the cauliflower into the food processor and kind of make it into a rice, is that the key to a successful diet is being willing to try new things. And I know a lot of people um, watching this video probably don't think a piece of cauliflower looks good to eat, but I mean, if you can make some kind of variation, um, chances are that's going to help you succeed in your diet. So. I mean, like I said, no one probably thinks that eating a raw ca cauliflower like this is very good, but I mean, if we can cook it up and kind of disguise it as something else while still keeping it healthy, um, you're just going to succeed in your diet, and that's really the key to it. I mean, finding different ways to um, make alternatives to normally unhealthy foods. So that's what we're doing here. So as you guys can see, I just finished cutting it up. So let's go ahead and put it into the food processor here. And then you're just going to go ahead and turn the food processor on and you'll notice it turns into rice almost, you'll see. Alright, so I just finished grating this cauliflower here and I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off and show you guys. And you guys can see, um, not only this looks nothing like cauliflower, but I don't know if you guys can kind of tell by the texture, it actually turns into a rice almost. And um, it's not going to taste that good raw by itself, but what we're going to do is actually put it in a microwave safe casserole dish right here and here you guys can probably get a better view and that it looks like rice and I promise it's going to taste almost exactly like rice I actually had a couple people in my family try it out when I was cooking this earlier today and they were surprised that it wasn't rice and they were actually surprised I was eating white rice of all things so now what we're going to do is actually you don't even need to add water to this, you're just going to put a lid on this container um, such as this and stick this in the microwave for four minutes and like I said you don't even need to add water. Just going to put a lid on it and four minutes in the microwave. Alright, so I just pulled the rice out of the microwave after four minutes and you guys can see it is fully cooked and I'm going to try to give you guys a better view on what it actually looks like here. You guys can kind of tell it looks almost exactly like rice and what I'm going to do today is actually go ahead and put this all into a bowl real quick. Alright, now to give the rice more flavor, there's actually a number of things you could do. You could use a lemon juice, you could use um, a mustard of some kind, but today what I'm going to do is actually take a little bit of salt free uh, seasoning and this is lime flavored so it's going to give it a little bit of citrus flavor and a little bit of spice. And we'll just go ahead and stir that in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sesame seeds. And then, this is preference for me, I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce. Now, 
Keep in mind with all these three things I'm adding, these are actually interchangeable with anything else that you want. Um, the whole thing about it is you have to customize it to your liking because chances are if you like it, you're going to enjoy eating it and you're going to eat it again. So um, I'm going to add hot sauce on mine. But like I said, really feel free to add anything else that you want um, on top of the rice for more flavoring. Um, but just keep in mind, keep it healthy. And now here is the final product of the rice. And the chicken is actually completely done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pieces of this chicken and just set it on top here. So there you have it, chicken and rice. But the cool thing about this recipe is it's not actually rice. As we all know, it's cauliflower, but it's going to taste exactly like rice almost, and it's a great substitute, a uh, low-carb substitute also. And um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, really, try this one out and let me know what you think. I was actually shocked at how good this tasted. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this kind of video, subscribe because I post a lot more. And um, if you enjoyed this video and learned something, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video. And also, if you guys wouldn't mind um, coming by my Facebook page, that's the best place to ask me questions. I've been getting a ton of messages, which is great, but the hard thing is it's hard to get to all of them, but I'm trying my best. Um, and if you want to answer, the best place to go is Facebook because I check that place first. And then I check my YouTube messages. But anyway, guys, that's this video. I'm going to go enjoy this dinner and have a good day. Bye.